Hello world, this is Siraj. Welcome to this channel. In our last video of the playlist, we discussed advanced printer settings. In this video, we are going to discuss about the floor plan settings. If you are owning a restaurant or cafeteria, you have to manage more than one tables. After watching this video, you will be able to manage more than one orders simultaneously. So, let's get started. First of all, you have to set up the floor plan. To set up the floor plan, you have to turn on the floor plan in the setting. To do that, you have to go to the menu here in the right bottom corner. Then you can click on the setting here. Then once you click the setting, you can see this dialog box. In this dialog box, you have to click the second group of setting, order and payment. In this order and payment, here we have basic operations. Under that, we have use floor plans. You can click on this. You can turn on this if you want to set up this floor plans. Then you can click the save button to save the changes. Then you can see the floor plan by pressing the F9 shortcut key. Or else you can click here, F9 save sales. There you have the floor plan. So here you can see the name of the floor plan, juice bar. And here we have number of tables that I have designed already. So I'm going to click on this three bars. Okay, here you can click on this. Then here you can see the setting, floor plans or table setting. Okay, I'm going to click on this one. So here you can see this juice bar in orange color. It means it's ready to change the settings. So here you can see the customized mode. Here you can see the tables. The tables can look uh, in a rectangle and circle. You can do the setting here. First of all, I'm going to remove this floor plan okay so let's see how we can remove the floor plan first so here we have the button remove floor plan i'm going to click on this remove floor plan then you cannot see any of the tables here then you can click the save button okay so our floor plan is the time being is empty now to do this again you can click here then you can click on the floor plan tables and settings then you cannot see any of the tables. We have to add tables. Here, before we add tables, we have to add floor plan. Okay, so here you can add number of floor plans. On each floor plan, you can add number of tables. First, we have to add floor plan. So here we have the button, add new floor plan. Here we have the name in orange color, untitled. You can give a new name. We are going to give a new name. Actually, you know, uh, I have been doing some electronic item sales and purchasing for the time being. And I plan to access uh, or I plan to open a juice bar for the customers who are coming to my uh, business. So I'm going to give a new name, juice bar, for the floor plan. So like that, we can have number of floor plans. And then under this floor plan, we are going to add number of tables. So let's see how we can add tables. So here we have the button, add tables. You are going to click on this add table buttons. Here we have the question mark. And here we can see the same question mark in the name. So you can give a new name for your table. So I'm going to give a name for easy understanding table, okay, table one. Table one. Here we can set up the height and width of the table. Uh, you can enter the numbers. For example, you can enter 240, the height, and you can give the width 240, something like this. Okay. Or else you can customize or you can adjust the height and width by clicking on these uh, arrows that are also possible here. Then you can Reduce something like this. And so here we have the radio button to change the option from rectangle to circle. You can decide upon in which shape you want to have this table. I like to prefer this first table as rectangle. I want to add one more table. Here we have add button. You can add one more table and you can place the location where you want to have this particular table. So you can place something like this. And you can give a new name. This is my table two. Fine. 
we'll add one more and we'll drag this and place somewhere here and we'll give a name table three and I want to adjust the height and width for this table I'm going to reduce this height and I'm going to increase the width of this table so a little bit wider and a little bit wider I'm going to add a little bit and we'll set up for 300 that's quite easy and I'm going to add one more table at this place and here we can click the add tables and we'll bring this to this place and we'll give a name table 4 okay. table 4 That's fine. Now I'm going to add a last table, add table. I'm going to bring this here and give a name table number six. Fine. Then I'm going to change the shape of the table. This is my round table. So we'll make it as circle and we'll increase the size of the table a little bit bigger than this one. We'll make it as 200. Hide and 200 with that's quite enough okay and here i'm feeling a little bit of uh, difficulties in placing the tables in the exact locations okay so that's what we can do here we have a uh, snap to grid button you can turn off this for the time being you can adjust as you want to have so like that you can just place this okay like this okay if you turn off the snap to grid, you can adjust the precise location. Okay, precise locations. Okay, something like this. Okay, we have a easy adjustment. And here we have show grid. You can turn on, turn off the guidelines how you want to have this one, and you can adjust the size of the grid lines. And also, you can adjust the color of this floor plan. Something like yellow, or we can give violet, or we can give white or something like we can give a teal or we can give a steel blue i like to go for this steel blue that's pretty cool and this one already discussed uh, here um, remove floor plan and suppose if i want to change the name of the table i can just change this one here so for example if i want to manage this table one two and this has to be table number three I can click this one, I can change this as table number three, and this must be table number four, and this has to be table number five. So I purposely did mistake. Now we can see the orders, table number one, two, three, four, and the last round table is table number five. That's pretty cool. And here, once you set up all these things, you can click Save button. Now you can see your floor plan. Okay. Suppose if you want to have more than one floor, you can come back again and you can come to this settings, table setting, and you can click on this Add New Floor Plan. There you have the new floor plan. There you can give your new name and you can add table as I had already under this use bar flow. So I don't want this for the time being. I can click on this cancel button and let's keep this for the time being. As you all know, I have been doing business in electronic items, especially in computer equipments and hardware. So I have created some of the items which is used to go for some juice bar so you can come to this products here you can see the groups of products here i have added new uh, group food and beverages under that i have added a couple of uh, items under this food and beverages okay fine that the series number starts with nine and the cost price selling price and all the other details so now we are in the table number one how you can realize or how you can notify this here we have the table number one we can we can uh, determine in which table you are going to go forward so i'm going to add a couple of items i'm going to add samosa we'll add this one 
and another order we got it for milkshake chocolate milkshake and another egg uh, sandwich for the table number one and we are going to receive a couple of items from the other tables so you can click on the f9 or you can just press the shortcut key f9 on your keyboard and here you can see the subtotal of table number one we got a couple of customers uh, in table number five so i'm going to click on the table number five and they are ordering uh tin samosa and you can click this uh and you can change the quantity into 10 and you can add 10 and you can click the enter button there you have 10 samosa and they are ordering 10 uh, milk tea i'm going to add the milk tea and you can change the order 10 milk teas and they ordered one large pizza that's fine and we got another order from table number two so we can click on the f9 then we can click on the table number two then we will order the fried rice egg and fried rice egg and ginger tea okay then we can go to f9 then we got another order from table number four and they are ordering large pizza two then they are ordering a cappuccino two and we can go back to the f9 and we can see the subtotal of all these uh, tables and uh, we got to know the table number five is going to leave they are asking to close the bill so we can click the table number five and you can see the subtotal of the table number five then you can go for payment and you can do the usual business that's fine now we cannot see the table number five is on progress and we are going to close the table number one also and between that they are making another ginger tea and they are asking to close the bill so we can click the f10 for the payment and they are giving 650 and we are giving 45 changes and done uh, now we can see the rest of the tables and we can click the table number two then we can close this bill that's pretty cool and now you can see the table number four with 5400 and in between that you got another order from the table number one again and you can click here and they are ordering uh, another chicken fried rice and beef fried rice and they are ordering a uh, milk tea and a ginger tea it's fine now you can go to the F9, there you can see the subtotal, and between that, we have to close the table number four. Then we can go for payment, and they are giving 5,500 payment. Then we close the bill. That's pretty cool. And in between that, we got another order from table number five. If you have any confusion in which table you are going to go for order, here you can look at this table number five. So all the orders you are placing here that will be placed under table number five if you want to swap to some of the other tables you can come to this f9 you can select the other tables now you can see table three or you can select the table number four that will be shown here then you can place the order something like this pizza and you can come back to the f9 then you can come to the f table number one and you can close the bill they are giving two thousand and you have to give 82.50 cents then you can close the bill that's pretty cool if you want to add number of tables or if you want to remove any tables as usual you can go to this three bar and you can click the floor plan and if you want to add number of tables you can add here then you can place the position where you want to have and you can give a new name that will be that will be your table number six and you can add one more table and you can add something like this and this will be your table number seven and you can save this and that also will be in the scene 
hope you all have enjoyed this video if you love this video hit thumbs up button if you are new to this channel click the subscribe button and don't forget to click the ring bell then you will be notified to my brand new videos thank you very much guys we'll meet in the next video goodbye for now